Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'll be doing an unboxing, a review and some quick solar test on this brand new 100 watt echo worthy portable solar panel right after this. If you are new to my channel and would like to stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks for Amazon Fire devices and product reviews then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for future notifications. Thank you so much. So I just recently purchased this 100 watt po portable, truly portable solar panel uh, from Echo Worthy. I'll, I'll give you the link in the, the links in the description below, uh, right below the video if you guys are interested. But I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick unboxing and a review and, the, and some quick so solar testing to see what kind of wattage we get out of this very portable 100 watt folding solar panel. So. Uh, just to start just to I want to get this out of the way this video is not sponsored I purchased this 100 watt folding solar panel out of my own pocket so I can say whatever I like about it I can mention the pros and the cons and so forth and honestly I have had it for a few weeks now and I'm, I'm I like the solar panel I'm actually actually kind of impressed so the company that makes a solar panel is by echo worthy uh, they've been around making some solar panels and I believe they also make batteries and whatnot so I thought, let me let me uh, fish around and see what kind of 100 watt folding solar panel that's that's really portable, and that I can pretty much take everywhere to the beach when I go fishing, when I go camping, and overlanding and whatnot. So I bought this folding solar panel, and this is the box. This is the actual original box that it comes with. And so let me go ahead and actually comes with a handle. Let me go ahead and show you that. So this is what it looks like when you uh, when you flip the box over. So let me go ahead and show you what's inside the box. So just to get a few things out of the way, I want to go ahead and show you uh, what kind of accessories you go ahead and get with the solar panel. So here you can see and the Echo Worthy uh, user manual. You can see that this is 100 watts, uh, providing 18 volts of power, and you get a few connectors with it. You get four different connectors. Um, honestly, I'm not sure what sizes these are as I I mean depending like this looks like a, the yellow one on the left hand side This looks like a, an a DC 8 millimeter adapter And then these are like different sizes depending on what kind of power station or what you're trying to power up So I'll go ahead and put that aside And then here what's really interesting you actually get a solar cable so on this side the input it looks like a, a DC5521 or a DC5525. Um, once I edit the video, I will leave that on the bottom of the video. I believe it's a 5521. I just have to double check the manual. And then what's nice about it, so this is the input. And as you guys know, most solar panels have the, uh, the standard MC4 solar uh, cables. So we have the positive and the negative right here. So this is a pretty nice option that they actually give you this adapter. So you don't have to go on Amazon or eBay or, or whatever. So you don't have to go and do research and find out what kind of solar cable and conversion cable that you need. So I, I like this option right off the bat. So, and of course it comes in this nice pouch. It's just a generic pouch from Echo Worthy. But it's nice that they included a small bag when you can actually see through the bag to see what kind of accessories that it comes with. So let me go ahead and move on to the solar panel itself and show you what it looks like and what it does. And of course, before I forget, it does come with these four standing legs. These are about maybe six to eight inches long each. And they're just basic. I'm going to show you how you install these on the back of the solar panel before I forget. So you get four of these to be mounted uh, in two different angles. So let me go ahead and show you the solar panel. All right, guys. So this is what the actual solar panel looks like. As you can see, they have the Echo Worthy brand printed right on the front, or I should say one of the sides. You can see that, that it's a 100 watt portable solar panel. And the fact that you'd have to excuse, it's a, you'd have to excuse me today. It's a bit windy outside. So I am, I'm hoping that the audio comes in very clear and loud in this video. Hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed. So um, one thing that I noticed about the solar panel that it's very light. I mean, the weight of the solar panel, but uh, I will leave that right now, either in the description or on the bottom of the video once I check on that. But it's very lightweight. It's actually one of the lightest 100 watt folding solar panels that I've actually come across. So what I, the other feature that I really like, the, the weight, I know this matters to a lot of people. To me, it's a big deal. So what's nice about it is that you can see the brand right here. And this is the handle of the solar panel. And you can see these, uh, like they're kind of like, uh, I'm not sure what do you call these. They're, they're kind of like clip to each other which is a nice feature 
once you unclub those i'm gonna go and show you some specifications of the solar panel here and you can see that here it says Here's some basic specs. We're looking at the rated power. It says 100 watts. And then we have the solar. This is a monocrystalline solar cell panel. And the maximum peak voltage is 18 volts. The open circuit voltage, was, which is important, is 21.6 volts. And the short circuit uh, current is 5.9 amps. And the maximum current is 5.6 amps. So you need to make sure that you're not putting, you're not inputting too much voltage or too much ampage into your power station or into your device. So that way you don't cause any damage, any personal property damage or da or any harm to yourself. So make sure you guys check on the specs of your power station or your battery before you cause any damage. So once you open up the, so the solar panel, here's what it looks like. And then of course, installing this solar panel is very easy, especially connecting. All we really have to do is connect this cable right over here. It's basically a screw on with like three prongs inside. It just shows you exactly how to do that in the manual, just by using a couple of pictures, very easy. And then this is this is the uh, legs or the su the supporting the supporting uh, they feel like they're aluminum legs. You get four of them, and you get to either install them either you get, you get to either put them in this hole right here or the bottom hole uh, for depending on which kind of angle you want. So there's two of these on one on this side, and then there's two of these uh, gray pieces um, that are built into the solar panel on the other side. Basically, all you do is. You grab one of these legs, you go ahead and put it on the bottom. You put two on each side for more stability. I've been using only two, but then you can do all four however you want. And I recommend using all four, uh, especially if it's a windy windy day. You want your solar panel to be nice and uh, nice and sturdy and not really moving around. But if it's very windy outside, this panel is like definitely under 10 pounds of weight. All right, so this is what the solar panel looks like once it's unfolded and installed onto either the legs or against something like a pole or the wall. Now this is at the, uh, depending on which angle, how, depending on how, uh, what the angle of the sun is at the time of installation. I like this, uh, I like this angle right now because as you can see, it's a bit cloudy today and the sun is pretty much right above me. It's a, it's a bit cloudy today, but it's not too bad. So it's actually pretty good for uh, testing a, you know, really any solar panel or any solar testing today because the sun is like in and out, in and out. So just to get a feel of a 100 watt solar panel and see what kind of power is going to give me. And then this cord, I just want to show you guys so you know exactly what kind of input the cable that comes on, that comes out of the solar panel itself is about, uh, it's like, it says in the manual, three meters long, which is basically nine feet long. And the uh, the connector is a DC5521. This is definitely important, even though, even though that it comes with four different uh, adapters inside with the accessories that are included, which also converts to an MC4 standard solar cable. But it's nice to know that this is a DC5521, so that way you're not guessing on um, what kind of a, a you know solar connector this comes with. Uh, by default so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in into a uh, 500 watt uh, almost a 600 watt hour uh, solar generator and I'm gonna go ahead and, and we'll see what kind of solar testing what kind of a, what kind of wattage we're gonna get out of this folding 100 watt solar panel from echo worthy and as you can see here I hope you guys can see that I did go ahead and plug it in into this uh, uh, recent power station that just arrived to me in the mail I will be reviewing this power station here here very soon I mean as you can see now the Sun has come out I hope this is a better angle you can see that that I'm getting a consistent 52 watts or I'm sorry I'm getting yeah 55 watts right now it's hard to uh, because there's so much glare when the Sun comes out but you can see I'm getting 54 55 watts you can see the battery capacity right in the center is at 48 percent as is blinking in blue so yeah 55 or even 64 65 watts out of a uh, very lightweight 100 watt folding solar panel that folds in half uh, i am happy honestly especially when you paid under a hundred dollars i know i'm sh there's probably better ones out there but you're going to be paying like if not double maybe even triple the price but i really like the fact that this solar panel is very lightweight and i really enjoy that i hope this is a better angle here you can see that i'm getting 26 watts 30 uh, 22 watts 32 watts 30 watts so it's gonna go back and forth of course because it's a cloudy day today 
So hopefully this is a better angle. I hope you guys can see the screen when I edit the video. Now earlier, uh, earlier in the afternoon, a few hours ago, I did see the solar panel give me at actually 64, 65 watts consistently before the clouds came in the area. So I was actually impressed, honestly, and this so this 100 watt folding solar panel, which is again very lightweight. Um, this this actual solar panel was under $100, believe it or not, and runs for like $89. That's if there's any. That's if there is if there isn't any coupons that are or sales going on at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm I've been using the solar panel. I actually used it a few times to uh, charge a few of my power stations, my EcoFlow uh, River Pro. And as I have reviewed, as I have reviewed that power station in the past, and this new um, blacksmith power station, this power station has 577 watt hours of capacity, which is also a solar generator. So it's gonna come and go, of course, on a cloudy day, which is usual business with solar panels and whatnot. If you are into this type of thing, so uh, I'm getting like a 46% ratio or 46% out of 100 watts on a windy, cloudy day. Hey, I'll take, especially if I paid under $100. I think I paid $89 plus tax. So hopefully the price maybe goes down. But honestly, this is a pretty cheap, as this is like what they call a 100 watt folding solar panel on a budget. I haven't seen anything cheaper than this. So I hope you guys like my review. And if you have the other Echo Worthy solar panels, I would love to hear about that. I know they make bigger solar panels. I think they make like a a, a 200 watt solar panel and maybe even a 300 watt solar panel i don't remember i look at so many solar panels online but i thought i thought I would, I would go ahead and do a quick unboxing and a review and some solar test with a solar panel which i think uh, i love this unit because it's, honestly it's always in my car because it's a, it's such a lightweight unit and barely takes any space with the box that it comes with and, it, and of course it's definitely when it, when it's folded in half it's going to take half of the uh, half of the size of the solar panel but of course when you unfold it that's approximately maybe three or three and a half feet wide i'll leave those dimensions on the screen and as well as the weight right on the screen when i go ahead and edit this video but i hope you guys like my review if you guys found any benefits in this video i know it's kind of short and sweet but uh, give me a go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you want to see more reviews like this and if you are brand new to my channel i would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel I know, I know it doesn't cost you anything, but it means the whole world to me. So hit that subscribe button, hit the thumb, hit the thumbs up button if you like that. And make sure you click on the bell icon for all notifications to stay up to date. Other than that, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. As there are more reviews coming up soon on different power stations and possibly some more other solar panels that I'm interested in buying. So, uh, but def I'm definitely going to be reviewing this solar panel. I mean, excuse me, this. Uh, 577 watt hour solar gener generator here very soon so again thank you so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video have a nice one take care